Hello, my friends. Here at the Chemistry Demonstration Lab at Ohio State, we have a chemistry demo for every occasion, but most of those occasions are Halloween. We don't have in-person classes right now, but that doesn't mean you can't enjoy all of our Halloween demos. There will be a little bit of science, but mostly some fun and kind of a lot of fire. Do not try any of these at home. This is a great just for fun demonstration. As you can see, we have a ghost generator here, which has water in. I'm going to add some dry ice bits. And remember, dry ice sublimes, which means it goes straight from the solid to the gas phase. You can see those bubbles in the bottom. So it's gonna make a lot of carbon dioxide gas, and then we're gonna blow bubbles with it. You can see all this carbon dioxide coming out. I've got a soap solution here. And we're gonna make spooky bubbles. Carbon dioxide is heavier than air, so when I shake this off, it's gonna fall. A lot of ice cream stores sell dry ice. So if you're careful, and you practice good safety with dry ice, you can do this at home. All it takes is some tubing, a cork, and a bottle. Legend says on Halloween, we can use chemistry to summon ghosts from the beyond. This is actually rapid decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. I've mixed boric acid and methanol to make a methyl ester. You can see that it burns with a bright green flame. You might be familiar with the elephant toothpaste demonstration, but have you ever seen spooky elephant toothpaste? Here I have some white sugar and I've added concentrated sulfuric acid. The acid dehydrates the sugar, releasing H2O in the form of water vapor and leaving behind the carbon, which expands. We've all roasted marshmallows over a campfire. Have you ever wondered what it might be like if we could cook candy really, really fast? Here I have potassium chlorate, KClO3. I'm going to melt it and then I'm going to add a gummy bear.
wait for that last tiny bit to melt. Since you're not in the room, you don't know, but the entire room smells like marshmallows now. All of this black stuff on the bottom is the carbon resulting from the combustion. This one has nothing to do with candy, but is still one of our favorites. We call this combustion of magnesium in dry ice, but it's really a single replacement reaction. Once the magnesium is lit, it burns without needing oxygen and exchanges places with the carbon to produce magnesium oxide and solid carbon. That orange color you see is from the carbon itself burning. In the grand tradition of go big or go home, we have filled hydrogen balloons with some metal salts. That was boric acid. That was strontium. This last one is my favorite. And finally, we're going to carve a jack-o'-lantern with chemistry. This is one of my favorite demos. We have done this every fall for about 10 years, and I'm so sad that we can't show it to you in person. So hopefully this will make up for that. As a special Halloween treat, we're going to carve a jack-o'-lantern using science. This is Harold, he's my volunteer today. Inside Harold, I've got a can of water, I'm going to add a chemical to it. This chemical is called calcium carbide, CAC2. When you add it to water, it makes acetylene gas. So we're allowing Harold to fill with acetylene gas. And then I'm going to light it on fire. It takes a minute, so we'll just wait. Hopefully all the acetylene has filled our pumpkin. We use this stick lighter and light it on fire. Do not try this at home. you could join us for these amazing demos and I hope you learned a little bit of something but not too much. Don't eat too much candy and stay safe. <laughs>